Right, yes, welcome back. We are at Motorcycle Life. I'm here with BHP UK. They have kindly invited me down today, so I'm just gonna do a little quick video update about the show. So they've got their mad crazy RS with their unique designed exhaust. And obviously the bad boy, the main thing that I have, and that I like, is they've got their SP with their unique designed exhaust system. With some of the little Thailand overseas Malaysian boys are starting to copy, which is a good sign because when you copy shit, that means it's good. They've also got Luigi's GM Media. He's got his 1390 and they've got their new brand new exhaust out for that. But this is these guys. I want to say massive shout out to them to thank him out. But let's just have a little scoot around the show and show you the bikes that I like or I see. So let's go. to start first than Ducati and the V4 the new V4s double-sided swing arm and I will say in the flesh this bike looks the business man absolute business 30 G's boss 30 G's it's a lot of dollar but I'm more interested in this the V2 the V2s with the new engine the lighter less power power to weight ratio almost similar to the outgoing model and we had a good chat with uh, Fabrizio. So uh, me, Cal, we had a good chat with Fabrizio about this and the model. We tried to get a little, you know, sneak preview out of him to see if we could get some ideas if this engine were going to be in the new Hyper, but obviously he couldn't divulge anything. But our feeling is this engine and the same that's in the Street Fighter V2, this will be in the new Hyper coming up next year. End of next year, probably 2026. Obviously you've got the 698. This is the only Hyper on the stand. They don't have a 950. This 450 MX, this looks absolutely cool man i don't know man this could be like a if they price this right man this is something that i could definitely see having in the in my garage and the only other bike the other couple of bikes that i like i just love the look of this this looks like a bit of a meaty chunky bike to have and first on the stand uk premier is the pikes peak the pikes peak multi-strider v4 these brand new wheels 17 inch they look cool single sided swing on and this bad boy 27 g's this this little Martini inspired scrambler definitely caught my eye, man. Look how small it is. It looks fucking so cool and retro. Proper cool, man. 30, 14 G's, man. 14 G's. Brand new scrambler now is the same price as that I paid for my Hyper fucking many moons ago. That's the thing that ticked my box on the Ducati stand. Obviously, they've brought everything to the show, so let's get over to the other manufacturers. I know BMW say that M is the most powerful letter in the world, and these are the three most powerful crazy bikes out there we've got the m1000 double r now this looks absolutely amazing this is kind of the only real bike out of the show that i see and i think fuck man that looks next level and obviously this xr version which is i guess the competitor to the rs looks the business 28 30 g's so everything's 30 grand now it's like and then the m1000 r on its own does look banging how much is this 26 g's it's probably my three BMW contingent. I'm not really interested in everything else that they do. So let's see what else is out there. Now look at this, guys. I'm a Ducati guy, right? But Honda stand is ram. And if you look at this, SP the Hornet, 10 grand. It's a fuck this is fucking 10 grand. It's almost got like a Street Fighter-esque look on the front. TFT stream, Brembo style emers, 155 horsepower, Olin's TTX shot, gold wheels. You cannot go wrong. 10K, mate. 10K of bike. Fucking tempted, man. Bang this in the garage, have a second one. And it even looks good in red. And that's nine grand. That has, I think, five horsepower less. That has 155, that has 150. That's probably my bike of the show, definitely. KTM, the 1390 Super Duke R. This is the R version. It's uh, almost 18 grand when it starts off. <laughs> looks fucking crazy. It's more carbon on this, isn't it? Less orange and more carbon. So a lot more sportier. And obviously a lot of options ticked on this model. This 990 Duke, which is 13 grand. This obviously has, you know, it looks a little bit looked like the 3090 with the fairings and, and it looks all right. It looks very small, very small, agile, nimble. It's like a tidy bike. Look at that. R, R990 RCR track bike. There's not even a, a price on that. These look fucking sick, man. Just imagine these on track. This orange looks a lot more luminous orange and pops. But this looks cool, man. What's that? 10,700. Fucking hell, man. 10 grand, man. 10 grand buys you this tiny thing. Shit. Right, on to the next one. Right, over at Yamaha. And for me, it's this bike, the R9. I think this is the bike that is uh, certainly of interest because I think these kind of engines and these kind of bikes are now producing like less horsepower 
like 120 or 115 horsepower. 119, so this is 119 horsepower, but it's got that R1-esque look, and it's actually got some good bits. So, you know, we've got Brembo brakes. You know, since when the Yamaha used to have Brembo brakes on them, you know, that whole front end dash just looks, that just looks like R1. I mean, there's a massive screen on it. Looks cool, man. This, I think this will obviously be a great track weapon. These two bikes, I prefer it in black, to be fair. Black sort of, black with some trinkets would look cool. But this R9 is uh, definitely up there with uh, the kind of bikes that I'd be interested in. Right, Triumph. Now, Triumph is a cool, proper brand. The bike that I've always had a little soft spot for is this Street Triple 765 RS. Just under 12 grand. It is a ripper. I've never had a triple. I've never had a triple engine. Starlima brakes, TFT dash, Olin shock. I mean, it's under 12 grand, man. What the fucking more do you want? This is the way the bikes need to go. The market needs to go a little bit less with more bits, but then sacrifice somewhere else, like drop some stuff off the ECU, lose IMU and all that stuff. Who the fuck really needs it, mate? We ain't all Peko Banyai on a track. We need all that traction control, man. Use a bit of throttle, use a bit of brake, use a bit of brain, and off you go. Save a bit of dosh on your bikes. And it looks cool in yellow. I'm here at Suzuki. Obviously, they've got loads of bikes here. I don't really know much about the Suzuki brand and bikes and stuff, but I will say it's fucking high boots that. This 25th anniversary edition. That looks popping. Look at look how fucking long it is. But I mean, it looks sick, doesn't it? That looks a one cool badass bike. Hey, not a bad dash either. Still got the old school dials. Fucking chunky motherfucker this, isn't it? Proper badass. I'll tell you what, in terms of stand and presence, I don't think anyone does it bigger than Kawasaki, man. And they have such a mad fan base. So many people that come all in their Kawasaki clobber. I don't know whether it's just this green, they fucking absolutely love it. You know, for me, if I was wanting to get like another bike, I would look to get a smaller, smaller type capacity bike. So like this Ninja ZX6R, 10 and a half grand, 124 horsepower. So it's got more than the new V2. It's got more than the R9. It looks quite cool. looks quite trinky. It doesn't have a lot of the Gucci parts. It doesn't have no Brembo's, it doesn't have no Olin's. But a different option to have. And it looks cool, man. I like it. Right, that's it. That's the pretty much a quick tour or the places, things that I like about the show. So I better get back to work and uh, help the lads over. And uh, thanks for watching. Do the usual, like, subscribe, check out the BHP UK and all their stuff that they do as well. So, right, over and out.